Hey fellas, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, it's Monday evening. Uh, topic of this nice video is uh, build report number five for my all build of my Revell CSS Alabama. This will be video five. Okay fellas, I got all the standing rigging all done on it so far. Uh, less shrouds and uh, then they're going on next. Uh, the funny thing, fellas, you know, when you're building model ships, uh, there's, there's different ways of attacking them, and some are different than others. And uh, you always work forward and work aft, you know, and uh, which is pretty much generally done in this build. But, um, well, like I say, when I was doing the standing rigging, I lift the shrouds out. I usually put the shrouds on first, then I put the fore stays, back stays, then go on to the next, to the mainmast, to the mizzenmast. And uh, so everything follows suit, except exception the shrouds, because I left the shrouds out so I can be able to adjust my uh, backstays, which goes to my uh, four mizzen and mainmast, and uh, also left clarity so I can be able to do some do some adjusting on my four stays, such as seizing around the eye pads of the decks. Okay, fellas, uh, standing rigging includes I got all the hip gear all done on this, and. Uh, I got pretty much ready for the uh, the shrouds next. After that, I'll start preparing the yards and uh, start put the fittings of the uh, the box on the top of the mast and everything like that, which needs the final running rigging. So the running rigging should follow probably. I could probably start that probably uh, one day this week for certain. But though anyway, fellows, uh, tomorrow's going to be uh, Tuesday, and. Uh, and I believe um, by this Wednesday, I'm going to have a video in my Arizona. I'm getting hot back now again. And uh, so I got it all dust, pretty well dusted off. And uh, so I'm going to show a video of that this Wednesday. So I'll be working on that and also the Alabama. And get these both going pretty good. And uh, I'm going to try to get the Arizona to finish as much as I can. I'd like to be able to have done before the 7th of uh, December 7th of this year and uh, so I got the glass dust cover all built for it over there I, I made for so I'm gonna put it in a dust cover and get it done and uh, take it from its elements okay guys back to the Alabama <coughs> I went ahead and uh, when I finished up the uh, standing rigging I stood, I stood kind of took a little break a little bit and looked around so that I could find any more touch up work on it I had just a few combos right there. Those dead eye combos, fellas, where your shrouds hook up to, that goes all up to your mast. Those things are very, very fragile. If I was gonna, if I was gonna make a long, long build of this thing here, I would have scuttled those things. I've got me some small dead eyes, and I could have super glued them very gingerly on top of the chain plate channels. Then go ahead, I could strap my dead eyes and rig up the lanyards of them. And now that's just a tip, fellas. Now, if I was going to do this kit over again, like I said, make a long-term build out of it, that's what I've done. I'm just building this right out of the box. So, uh, she's, she's a very beautiful ship. She's starting to shape up pretty good. And, and I'm quite certain that uh, Admiral Raphael Sims would, uh, would approve. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it right now, fellas, and show you how much old Frank Dick got done on it. Well, we'll turn the uh, video back to yours truly and discuss what's on the plate and what we'll be doing next. Okay, guys. Put the cigar down if I burn myself. Okay, fellas, we're going to swing around and take a look at the uh, CSS Alabama. Okay, guys, we're going to. Take about there a little bit, and I'll show you what I got done on it, starting from the bow. And uh, here's, here's a little pointer right here I got from Gary. And uh, thank you again there, Gary. I appreciate this very much, dear sir. Makes life so much easier. Okay, guys, right here I got the, uh, the bob stays, which is all your chain work, all the way up to the night heads, and also up to the first shutter bay up to, at the 32 pounder on the bow, on the port and starboard side, how it's rigged. Now you got your back bob stay which is in this area here and it goes all the way up forward 
into the eye of that bowsprit and back down to the same eye behind the night head. And you can see all the chaining gear I got on it. The headgear is all done. Next, I'm going to do on this rigging here, I'm going to go ahead and tie blocks on here. This is going to be in, your in haul and down haul block, your halyards for your sails, for your sail lines. And they'll go aloft, come right down your mast into the lover's hole, and I'll bat them, all, bat them off on the belaying bench or the fife rail. Got the jack staff on here, which I'm going to put the Confederate flag on there. And then right here is the doffing striker or the nightingale right here. And uh, you can see how much detail is done on this. And so I got the, all the headgear all done, fellas. And I got the, the Ford four stay main, the main says four stays is on here. It sees on the, uh, on the turnbuckles here. It sees right in here. It's all seized. And, um, also, I got the four stays also seized around the bowsprit for the foremast. The rest here are up the back stays goes up to your jib. Also up to your for your, your in-haul jib sail, also your, your top gallon jib sail, which hooks up to in there. And uh, the back stays are all on, are all, all the way up top side aloft to the mast area. Now right here, fellas, these things here are very delicate right here very delicate and I kid you not they snap like I said earlier in the video if I was going to do this kit right and had that want to put more time into it what I'm going to do on it anyway I would scuttle every one of these little devils here got rid of them threw them away let the carpet monster eat them up or whatever they're out of the way and get these small little dead eyes and, and gingerly glue them on top of here and make sure you don't allow too much pressure when you uh when you uh, tie off your uh, your shrouds, best yet, fellas, is to take a nice jeweler's drill, drill a hole down there, and make yourself an eye an epoxy uh, and uh, an eye a pad eye. And you can put it right back on top of the uh, the channels here, and hook up your dead eyes, and rig your dead eyes like I did on Charles Morgan, and uh, that would have been a, the best way of doing it. But anyway, folks, I'm building this model as uh, out of the box. And the same thing with that, I got the uh, four stays, back stays, and uh, we're going to swing this model around a little bit and take a little bit look at it. You can see how all the backstays are on there. And uh, like I say, fellas, I, if I really wanted to, I should I should have drilled holes on top of the channels and ran eye pens through there, hook up with some dead eyes, and weaved them. But like I say, this is out of a box build. Uh, nothing unusual. And the same thing here, you can see the backstays, how they're joined all the way up top aloft. And uh, at the same way. Deck looks pretty well ship shaped, fellas. I got the deck about the way I want it. And you can see how that standing rigging stands out. It gives a resemblance of a ship. There's a good bed value right there, fellas. I think I dropped my pointer, excuse me. Okay, here we go. The whole rigging is done in, in a similar, in the same manner as is done on, on the uh, port side. So you got to, and incidentally, folks, on these uh, stays up forward up here, on these back stays up here, goes off the bow sprit, they go right down to your bowsprit, they loop into your bowsprit fair leads, and they rig to your martingale 
all inside your ship. So actually, the adjustments of the four stays are all adjustable. Well, you can turn it by using a, a not turnbuckles, but your 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 uh, your dead eyes, your combos. So anyway, fellas, this is about as far as I got on her, and uh, she's looking pretty good, as you can see. I'm pretty happy with her, and um, this is a good build, folks. I really, I really enjoyed building this old ship here. It's uh, the first time I've ever built the Alabama, and uh, so uh, before I, um, I get the running rigging going. Up this area, I'm going to put some netting across here. I'm going to make some netting. That way, it keeps all the all the top men. They fall off. They won't fall through the to the trail boards, to the rigging, and fall down to the water. So uh, all of them had that uh, had that mesh in there, like that, to keep them from falling through there. And uh, other than that, fellas, that's about as far as Frankie Day got on this thing. And. Um, so if you guys got this model in your stash, you know, just just a tip, you can take all these all these dead eyes on your com all these dead eyes or combos you call them, and pitch them up and drill the holes on top of your channels and get these little eye pens to go around like this and, and just using the ACC glue, you glue them right into the holes right there and take your your dead eyes and fasten them to the eyes. Then you go ahead, put your dead eyes on top of your shrouds, and rig them up. That's all I've done on this. If I would, if I'd like to spend more time on it, but like I said, guys, this is not an out of the box build, nothing special. Just an over bell. has been at one time, and and it's ready to uh, to do it again. Okay, guys, uh, I'll take my little pointer and put it away. Keep it from getting broken. Thank you very much, Gary, for that. That helps out a lot, and it also helps explain to the viewers out there what old Frankie Day's done. Okay, guys, back off a little bit more and uh, finish up the video. Okay, guys, that's about as far as I got in video number five of my uh, Alabama song. I'll let her rest for the night and. Uh, I achieved my goal for the day and tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and prepare for the running rigging on this. I should have a video of this probably uh, by Saturday of the Alabama. So stay tuned this Wednesday. It's going to be USS Arizona time. And uh, so I get the big A. She's down there out of harm's way to keep getting broken. So I'm just going to pull her out of that little drawer right there and set her up in the workbench and and before I set it up here, I'm going to kind of clean up this, this workbench, fellas. <laughs> Jeez, it's hard to describe. It's just everything is just strewn all over the place. And uh, so it needs a, a good field day cleaning. And uh, put the Alabama out of harm's way somewhere so she won't get disturbed. My work on the Arizona and make a video of that. So anyway, fellas, that's what's on the agenda. So I'm going to get hot on uh, Jake Cutler's Steve. Across the pond, uh, his Dakota group build. I haven't uh, started on, on my uh, Airfix kit yet, though, but I'm going to. And uh, so, right now, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting all wrapped up in these ships again. Lord knows I gotta get these things finished. But I got a lot of them back here. Well, I keep hearing stuff back there falling down. Okay, that'll be, that'll be it for me for the night, fellas. Uh, so I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and make God bless and um, make Mama happy and happy modeling. Please subscribe. This is Frankie Day signing off. I'll catch you guys this Wednesday on the USS Arizona Bill. So don't miss out on that, fellas. Okay, guys, we'll catch you later. Frankie Day signing off. Bye, fellas.